Welcome to part one of our measurement lab, in which we'll be exploring how to measure length. To demonstrate this, we're going to be using a small ruler and our lab manual, which you'd normally all have access to. This is my lab manual. Here you can see I'm looking at the inside back cover. Why the inside back cover? Well, my lab manual has seen a lot of use. So these two edges happen to be the ones in the best condition. So they're going to be the easiest to measure. Now, ideally, if I was going to do this measurement, I want a measuring device that stretched the entire length of the object that we wanted to measure. You can see that this ruler falls a bit short in both dimensions. Uh, we're just going to mark in the middle and then continue to measure uh, and add up our two individual measurements. This does introduce the possibility for some additional error, but if we're very careful, we should be able to minimize that. All right, so let's get started. We're going to start here on this edge right here. I'm going to say, all right, we've got an initial 15 centimeters from my zero mark out to my 15 here. I'm going to take my ruler, or excuse me, my pencil, and I'm going to mark that spot right there and note that I've got 15 to that point. I'm going to move this over, and I'm going to see that I've got an additional 6.12349. 6.49. That was 15.00. Right, so I add those two up, and I get 21 point four nine centimeters we're going to rotate this and do the same thing with our length all right so again I've got my zero point on my ruler there I'm going to mark where the 15 hits I'm going to shift my ruler over and I'm going to see where the edge of my paper falls that's like right here you can see where my pencil is and that's going to give us another 12.567, just shy of it. I'm going to see 12.79. All right, so now 12.79 plus our 15 gives us 977, 27.79 centimeters. All right, now it's important to remember when you're doing these measurements, and here I'm going to make this a little easier to see. Let's do that last measurement again and get a little bit of a close-up of what we're looking at. All right, I'm going to have to go back and revise my number here. You can see here, I've got my mark right on the mark that I had for the 15. I'm gonna make sure this is nice and straight. And we've actually got 12 point, I'm gonna revise that to 8.5, all right? So note that we've got the measured unit, right? Here I measure to the millimeters and I'm gonna to estimate to one point past that. So we'll call it 12.85. All right, that's only going to alter our last two numbers here. Giving us our final data set for both the length and the width of our lab manual. 